never getting off track oh! Oh! Dunk life every day, yeah I come around, yeah You ease my mind every single time I fly Worried about the defense I'm about to body them I'm about to body I can't remember the tune I let his dunk life every time, yeah 713 to the 281, yeah that's vertical 42 inch And the 281, yeah I'm jumping Don't jump with me God damn it, bro. I'm, I want to do remixes. I, I'm dropping raps. I feel like I'm in the rapping mood. This podcast is turning into fucking raps every day. That's all I'm talking about. Drop my best rap ever. Go check it out. Drop the vlog this morning. So if you're listening to this right now, go check that out. Fuck this podcast. Thanks. What's up? Hello. What's today? Saturday. <laughs> Happy birthday to my boy, Leo. Shout out to your friends. I love giving gifts. He's a tough one to get. He's actually not a tough one, but like... Ah, he's content, you know, he doesn't have anything, a lot of people, like, they don't really get themselves gifts, and I love getting things that you, my favorite gifts to give are gifts that you would never get yourself, but you know you want, but they're just like, I don't need to splurge on that, and so you splurge for them, and they're like, oh, damn, this is, I like this, I get to fucking live it up, um, yeah, so, um, drop the vlog, it was the pickup games with me, Isaiah, and Nick Briz, Mr. Nick Briz, dude, flies off one foot. His head was above the rim. The rim's like 9, 10, I think, but his head looked above it, and my angle was like a legit angle. He fucking flies. Welcome to the podcast, by the way. Happy Saturday. Hope you have all your limbs. Hope your uh, your brain works today. Hope you're fucking awake. If not, hello, we're here. And uh, the other thing about today's podcast is that this is what it is. It's all about behind the scenes. It's all about my details of my existence, and hopefully you're thinking of yours, and you're chipping away. You're chipping away like my Michelangelo's motherfucking marble block and you're becoming your full self and that's enough um promotion whatever you want to call it whoa so yeah Nick flies off one foot he is literally my goals off one I don't know if that's possible like I don't know if in my lifetime I could work that much up to get to that point before my bones deteriorate but that's the goal I mean I always shoot for the highest thing shoot for the moon land amongst the void right if you shoot for the moon you might land in a black hole which would be sick and so yeah he flies punching it in games insane insane bounds and of course Isaiah is just nuts but that was a bad jumping day for him Isaiah is crazy and it was a lot of fun my technique is balls off the dribble in the game I pushed myself super hard my hamstring was bugging so bad i have to rest it it was so hard to rest while they're there but when i take my penultimate it really stresses it out so i think what i can do which i said a couple weeks ago or a week ago is like just do small penultimate jumps which is like vert jumps and just like drop step jumps um because it doesn't really like uh use my full stride so i think i can do that but i really got to take time off for like a week or two because it's not going to heal and i've been nagged this injury's been nagging but when i went to jump i had some really high jumps but then it just hurt so bad that the next ones i like hesitated so feeling really good my two hand off the dribble is super easy i did it on the nine nine side of that hoop and it was like so easy and it's feeling natural in my head again if you saw my vlogs if you've been keeping up you see sometimes it gets natural sometimes i get into a good groove and yeah it just feels crazy natural i'm feeling way more powerful i did like a windmill it wasn't a drop step but i went to go down the lane and a ball got in my way so i had to like dodge it and then i just basically took like two steps and windmill donked off the dribble so that was like so easy first try so that's a really crazy good sign my dribble dunks are really getting there and i want to punch stuff almost had a game dunk um but i have no footwork um it's just really bad so i don't want i'm like stuck in my ways and i i i try too hard it's just it's a weird thing it's not it's not natural for me to go off the dribble as it is off a lob but again it's like Right now, it's like on my best dribble dunk, I can do a windmill and I could really crush one. But like, I want to get to a crazy level where I'm doing like an East Bay off the dribble. So then a basic dunk is super easy. That's, that's how I think I should, I need to be able to dunk so I can dunk in games. Cause it's like, say, we'll use numbers. It's like, say my vert off the dribble is like 46. I only need 42 to dunk in a game. So right now, it's like 42, 43. So I need like all of my bounce to get a dunk in a game. But if I like get my bounce super high, then it'd be super easy. Anyway, having a ton of fun. Um, tomorrow I might not do the podcast, but I'm going to try to do at least something. But if not, you got plenty, dude. I posted two videos today already. What do you, what else you want? But if not, we'll be right back on Monday. So my training's going to be a little slow maybe, but I, I can give you insight and I have so many videos, as you know, so many ideas, podcast every single day. And, um, what did I want to say about the podcast? I have other, um, 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I, fuck, fuck. Whatever, dude. That's it. I, I want to keep rapping. It's so much fun. That was my best one I've done in a while. And I wanted little Dicky to see it. Not even for the, I don't even care if he shares it. Like if it gets a lot of views, I just want him to see it because he inspired me so much. And I really, I don't know how this will sound, but I really think that he would like it. Like I think if he saw the lyrics that I use, he would feel the resemblance to his craft and the way he raps and like the way he thinks about things so i don't know i would think it would be super cool the same way maybe you could can relate to this is that you see me dunking putting in all this work if i saw the way you dunk or you got a, you yammed one you know i would love it you know it would just get me hype i think the same way with that but i just love that i love music i love again oh i watched um the meek mill documentary last night shout out to my mom hi mom um she told me to watch it which is kind of i did not see that coming and it was all about rapping that also put me in the rap mood. Everything's going about, if you're in the universal energy, sometimes these things just come align. There's like a theme. And if you, if you're, I feel like if you're in touch with the universe or you're in touch with yourself, you're very clear minded. You feel like this universal thing. For some reason, music's fairly popular in my life right now. And so that Beak Mill documentary is amazing. He didn't do anything. He was like wrongfully accused. And it was just insane that he, what I was crazy about me is that growing up around his friends is that he was like the only rapper, like for me, I don't even grow around, uh, grow up around people that do that, but I still know people that like enjoy doing it. But like for him, it seemed like his friends like, Oh, you're rapping. Like I thought for sure it'd be like a lot of his friends were rapping and he was just like the best one. I don't know. It was just weird, but it was cool. Also his, his boys helped him out, like kept him in the studio, kept him away from trouble. Obviously he got convicted wrongly, but you should check it out. It's called free meek. I think on Amazon prime, everyone should have Amazon prime. It's like fucking a hundred dollars a year. Just, just do it. If not mooch off your parents, come on, your friends split it. It's $4 a month. You can get it Buy the series. It's a really good one so far. I've only watched the first two episodes. My mind is going really fast. And that's it on this day in history. Let's get to it. I got to get out of here. Cause I got to go celebrate my birthday with my best friend. It's really fun. I can't wait. We're going to go in the pool. We're going to play sports. It's going to be so fun. Okay. August 24th. Oh my God. I love when there's tiny years. Year 79, Mount Vesuvius erupts. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? It buries the Roman Pompeii and the Herculaneum. 15,000 die. Jesus cramity. 79, year 79 it erupted. Isn't it supposed to like erupt again? Mount Vesuvius. It reminds me of that guy, Don Mazzetti. He's like, he was talking um, about uh, hooking up with somebody. He's like, I had... <laughs> He was like, I had two more seconds before I turned into Mount Vesuvius or something like that. It was hilarious. 410, Rome overrun by Visigoths under Alaric for the first time in nearly 800 years, seen as the fall of the Western Roman Empire. I don't know, Visigoths? Visigoths? What the fuck? Today in film, 1963, 24th Venice Film Festival, Hands Over the City, directed by Francisco Rosi, rins the Golden Lion. Bro, I want to go to the Sundance Film Festival one year. That So if you see this, that's one of the compounding experiences I'm talking about. In years to come, I love film. It would be so cool if I could go to that film festival. It would be amazing to like experience that. So I got to get the, I got to plan it out. When your stars align, do like the solar system and plan it out. Big Sean voice. Today in music, 1787 Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart completes his violin and piano sonata in A. K526. I don't get the last few words of that, but Wolfgang did something today, and I'm happy about it because I love music too. Today in sport, 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing becomes the most watched event on TV ever, ne- nearly 5 billion, 70% of the world's population. Damn. All right, let's check if people uh, commented on my rap. I think they did. Oh, no, yesterday's podcast. Shout out to the Dunk Lifers of the Day, the podcast listeners. Much love. I also did an Elevate remix. Think about that. Elevate, Elevate with a dunk remix. I don't, I think it might be actually, let me check that really quick. Um, it's still ineligible. It has, I, I filed a dispute because they copyrighted my song. So that's why that podcast wasn't there. But hopefully if that pops out, it's on, it, you can probably listen to the audio. Maybe I'll put it on my SoundCloud as well. So you can hear my rap, my newest rap on SoundCloud. I'll probably drop the elevate one right there too. Um, freestyle. So yesterday's podcast, uh, Ar- Arlie said, I'm going to go DM Lil Dicky of bars. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and Zachary Gottlieb, love your vids, dude. So impressive. Thanks a lot, bro. Yo, we working. I really am excited to punch shit off the dribble. I'm telling you, I, my goals are body people, but I really just want to be dunking in games effortlessly. 
and my one foot feels really good. My knee actually feels good. Last week, if you were listening, it was kind of a little weird. I f- everything felt good yesterday except my hamstrings were crazy. And I pushed myself a ton, like cardio wise. Everything was super sore. So I pushed it too much. But I think if I get healthy, I'll be in the best shape of my life. I'm feeling really good. I shaved my fucking forearms because no fucks anymore, bro. And I'm feeling like really it's like all mental, bro. It's like you do that. It looks a little bit better. Then I think I'm getting better. So then I actually do get better. Who cares? Everything works. Everything's in your mind. Fucking live in your mind. And everything starts in your mind. It controls every action you ever take. That's how I'm ending the podcast. And I love you. And have a great one. And go energize everyone around you. Spread the good shit. Spread the good stuff. Also, go bump my music. I think you'll like it. Yow! Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.